So continuing along with this uh, critical focus on energy and sustainability, uh, Chamber very, very committed to that cause. And uh, our next guest is Frank Collins, a uh, long, long-standing member of the Chamber of Commerce um, and also has been building Trust Energy Solutions over how many years now, Frank? Eight years now. Eight years. Congratulations on that. Welcome Thank uh, to you. the show. We're gl glad to have you. So. For people who don't really know what you do, tell us a little bit about uh, Trust Energy's mission and vision. Sure. Uh, I would say to frame it up, uh, 20 years ago, uh, energy efficiency, uh, sustainability, these weren't really mainstream topics. Today, they definitely are, right? Um, what we're seeing is that I, I, for example, have two 25-year-old daughters, and I can tell you that they are very vested in these topics like climate change and sustainability and longer term mm -hmm. thinking for old folks like us. Uh, sorry, Rob, to include you in that. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, these topics are more learned behavior, but for these kids, uh, it's in their DNA. Right. So at the same time, what we're seeing is that uh, energy prices are surging everywhere. And this was happening even before the whole Ukraine thing mm -hmm. uh, came up. So, even before Ukraine, we, what we saw was that uh, energy prices were going up about 70% in the prior five years. And- uh, 70? 70%. Wow. And in this last year alone, we've seen uh, energy prices surge by over 30%. And they're expecting this trend to continue. So I think for businesses that uh, are looking to increase their efforts in the sustainability area, uh, there's three main things that they need to be thinking about. And number one is that 60%, 60% of all consumers say that they are willing to pay more for product or service that comes from a business that they consider to be socially responsible. 75% of all millennials say they'll take less money to work for a company that they believe to be socially responsible. So, and we're also seeing that uh, sustainability is becoming a bigger factor when bidding on contracts. We're seeing it tickling 10 to 15% of the total decision criteria. So mm -hmm. having a plan is increasingly important if you're bidding on contracts. Our mission at Trust Energy Solutions is simple. We help businesses and towns meet these challenges by managing their buildings and energy spend in a socially responsible manner. And the best part is that uh, the solutions pay for themselves. Mm -hmm. So what do you think is the biggest challenge facing companies when it comes to wanting to really evaluate and kind of get into the mainstream of sustainability? That's a great question. So the challenge we have in New England is that we have no natural resources. So we have to import expensive fossil fuels to generate our, our electricity. Um, you add to that that the uh, that the electric grid and the gas pipelines coming into New England are over capacity. The region's growing faster than they can build new substations. So uh, I don't know if you live here in Marlboro, you might've noticed a couple of days ago when it was so hot mm -hmm. that uh, they had brownouts. In fact, there were brownouts throughout the whole state because what's happening is everybody's turning on their AC at the same time. Mm -hmm. So the utilities are putting a lot of focus on, on uh, energy efficiency and ways to reduce usage because they can't keep up with demand. Right. So uh, as an aside, uh, a few years ago, I helped the chamber uh, create this thing called a large employer roundtable where we brought in the region's largest employers and we talked to them about uh, what was on their mind. The idea was for them to share ideas and brainstorm solutions. And consistently, uh, the number one topic that they kept bringing up was that they couldn't hire, can't hire, can't hire. And in particular, trying to hire younger talent right. that lives in Boston. And how do you get them to come out to the burbs? Mm -hmm. So uh, in my opinion, one of the primary reasons uh, you want to include 
sustainability and energy management and such is so that you can hire those uh, folks that live in Boston and come out here to the burb and uh, they're focused on sustainability. They like that in companies. That's right? exactly right. Mm-hmm. And if you and once you go green, it gives you a, a a way to talk about the fact that you're a company that cares. Right. So you've been at this for eight years now, Frank. You obviously have watched the business grow. Um, you have a, you know an audience now of chamber businesses. What advice and counsel? would you give them with regard to having companies like yours come in and consult and really get after how to you know go after savings sure how much time do we have no uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no look there's there's a lot of uncertainty around going sustainable i talk with business owners all the time and uh it seems like this big gnarly ball of mm-hmm. yarn that they just don't know even where to start so they put it off right. when in fact there's a lot of low-hanging fruit kind of things that they can do uh to get the ball rolling um and sustainability is a very large topic for us we focus on energy use mm-hmm. that's our piece of the pie so our goal is to help these companies reduce their energy use and their energy spend so we do this three primary ways uh, we focus a lot on energy efficiency. So, for example, we'll come into a building or a city hall and we'll convert all the old lighting to LED lighting, add some intelligent bus- uh, building controls, and uh, we get free rebates to help pay for all of it and free financing. Um, and so it's just an excellent way to get rid of all those bulbs and ballast issues and when we're done uh the site just looks fantastic customers and and employees especially just love it so number two is energy supply contracts uh what we're seeing is with the energy prices just spiking up and down it's wreaking havoc on uh budgets uh uh, electricity and natural gas energy prices are usually the third largest spend for most businesses after payroll and rent and uh, so with a fixed rate contract, which you can, you can set it up to five years, uh, same price, predictability, right? Mm-hmm. And then last, uh, we're installing electric vehicle charging stations. So this is very exciting. Uh, this year, 5% of all new car sales were electric. In two years, 25% of all vehicles will be, uh, new vehicles will be electric. So um, the, the utilities are incentivizing uh, companies and towns to put these EV charging stations in there. The rebates are huge. Uh, it pays for almost the entire thing. What, what business owners don't understand is that uh, every EV charging, every EV car owner has an app that they look for charging stations, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And if I'm trying to decide which hotel to go to or which restaurant to go to, Yours has a charging right. station. Guess where I'm going to go? Right. Right. Yep. So, yep. Uh, I would say that's one of our biggest and hottest trends right now. Great. Well, as you can uh, tell, uh, all the focus on and discussion on energy and sustainability is clearly emerging as we're challenged more as a planet. Uh, so I think uh, this um, segment has been unbelievably rewarding in terms of letting everyone know how many resources are available through the chamber to help you assess and take a look at ways that we can leverage the funding available through the subject matter experts that we have in the chamber. So, uh, Frank, on you know, behalf of the chamber, we want to thank uh, you for taking the time and Trust Energy for lending some expertise and appreciate you being here. Uh, Always good to see you. My pleasure. Thank you okay. for having me.